ago, Mayor Michael Bloomberg, Bronx Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr., and then Governor David Patterson declared the month of December as Peace Month throughout the entire New York City area. This initiative was created out of the urgent need to lower the escalating crime rate in the city's most, uh, uh, most highly populated crime areas, which was pretty much the Bronx. Also to lower the crime rates in the city and the Bronx, it's incited communities to come together. Sheikh Musa Drami is here to tell us more about it. And uh, Sheikh, good to have you here. Uh, and as we said, December is this month where we're really trying to focus on bringing peace across New York City. You guys are galvanizing the effort of bringing a lot of people together. Absolutely. Thank you, Darren. And, you know, I'm always excited to be here mm, one more yeah, time. Darren, yes. Yeah. Um, you know, the month of December, you know, was declared last year as a peace month, you know, from January until November. We commit all crimes. We terrorize our neighborhoods. We kill our spouses. You know, we recruited gang members. So what we decided to do in December is to interrupt that trend so that at least people will sit down and realize that there are other things to be done, which is to promote peace. And we believe that once we create that disruption, sooner or later people will begin to readjust and then maybe focus on better things than hurting their loved ones. Mm -hmm. So you talk about creating this disruption, but you're using a lot of people to get disruptive in the process to create the disruption. You've got elected officials, you've got community leaders, and then you've also just got the plain old community. And all of you guys are banding together in this united effort. Yes, Darren, uh, bringing peace and nonviolent society requires a collective uh, preventive commitment from all of us. You see, not reactive one. A lot of times when a mom or dad goes on TV, cries because his or her child is killed and creating all kinds of emotional feelings. But yet, day before that crime, that parent may not have done anything. Mm -hmm. So what we're saying is that instead of waiting to react, let's do something to educate those who would commit crime and create havoc in our community. This is a collective effort, and this is a collective responsibility, and this is a moral responsibility upon all of us. We can no longer afford to continue to see our young children not graduating from college, but being murdered mm -hmm. or being in jail. Today, we have more young people who look like me incarcerated than in universities. It is something all of us must say, enough is enough. Well, let's talk about the event because you have a very particular event happening here in the borough. Let's share a little bit about that. Mm. Um, on November 30th, we want to create an excitement so that people will understand that December is here so that they can collectively come together. And we're inviting elected officials. We're inviting law enforcement leaders. We're inviting the media. We're inviting uh, 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 victims of violence, whether it's a domestic violence, gang violence, street violence, or hate crimes violence, or abuse, whatever type of violence. We're also inviting, actually, perpetrators who had committed these crimes and paid their dues to society, not only as a healing tool, but as a preventive mechanism. We come together and discuss about how can we bring peace and good living in our communities. You see, our children can go sc to school and earn good grades because there are so much gang situations. Our streets are not safe for our families. We cannot open businesses and be safe. And that drives away competition so that prices go up. That drives away good entrepreneurs who can really make these communities a very nice, habitable community. Crime kills everything that is good. You talked about bringing perpetrators together as well as victims. And so talk about that mix because it is unique in, in, in context because you're talking about having per perpetrators and victims there. How does that facilitate a healing process? You see, Darren, a lot of times a victim will say, I forgive my perpetrators. And that real life experience and forgiveness and the recognition on the part of the perpetrator to know that the person you hurt, you hurt that person's body but not the goodness in him or her. And that alone is a very educational message to a would-be robber, would-be a killer, would-be a murderer, would-be a domestic violence uh, uh, you know, abuser. Mm -hmm. So you have a real life uh, individual who come together, who, would, who should have been forever enemies, holding hands and saying, I forgive you. 
and the person said, I regret what I have done to you or your family members. Nothing replaces that. That's why we're doing it. And we're doing it in front of the leadership of this community, whether they elected officials or whether they are uh, clergy. You see, some of the things we also must demand from our clergy, we need competent clergy giving messages of peace and living by peace. We mm. need to have elected officials who are qualified to bring about peace, not giving turkeys away or organizing Christmas, you know, events where people come, you know, for bribe. We need people mm. who are competent to lead us so that crime and violence will be eliminated. We cannot sustain this horrible, uh, you know, uh, uh, situation we are in, in the Bronx or in New York City in general. Well, let me meet you where you are. You talked about giving the message of peace, and, you know, here it is. You've got elected officials who are actually putting this at the forefront, saying that peace needs to occur throughout the course of the month. Is that satisfactory? Should we be seeing more? No, actually, because we are very adamant about demanding the very basic constituent rights. You see, a lot of us, we are very complacent because we don't know what to demand. We don't know how to demand solutions to our collective problems. So we engage the law enforcement community. We engage clergy. We're telling them that you cannot lead us while we are dying. You cannot bring successful children if they cannot go to school and have proper grades. Unless we demand these rights that we deserve from our elected officials, nothing will happen. A lot of them are waiting for us to lead them in these ways. They may not know. There are a lot of mixed messages coming in their offices. But the most important one is to be able to create a bronze environment or New York City environment where our children, our families, our properties, our lives and our dignities are sacred to us and nobody should violate them. Let's talk about the Bronx. This is going to be the place where the peace uh, initiative is going to be held. Where are people going? How can people be a part? Right now we are uh, doing what we call events calendar for December meaning from now until uh, November 30th, we are inviting all organizations, we are inviting all individuals to list events dedicated to peace and nonviolence during December, so that November 30th, we will have a complete list of every single day from December 4th to December 31st, dedicated the whole month to peace and nonviolence. It is taking place at 2006 Westchester Avenue, right across the street from Parkchester Public Library. There is about 10,000 square feet of open space. We can accommodate as much as 400 guests, and I believe we'll have a packed house because crime and violence is something that people are now, you know, fighting to find solution for. It's going to be at night time because we're creating some type of excitement like countdown to peace December right. from 8 to midnight. We're going to have a clock that shows actually the actual time right. and then midnight we're not promoting you drink alcohol but we're gonna have a lot of tea and coffee and you know healthful you know that i mean health food uh, beverages right. for people to celebrate peace december all right so we invite people to come on out and share now if you want to get more information we invite you to call sheikh musa drami the number is 718-829-2323 and uh, anything else you want to leave us with before we go well um our email address is info at peacedecember.org. We do not have website yet because we are committed individuals, not rich people. If you're a webmaster or you are technology expert, we want you to help us so we can build a nice website so that all these events will be listed. All right, Sheikh Musa Drama, good to have you sharing with us one more time and best okay. wishes to you on your peace initiative coming up. And uh, we, we know that we would need to see a whole lot more peace out here. Absolutely.